This is Pepper Pace, and welcome back to part two of making a silicone ultra realistic ethnic doll. And in this case, we're making Felicity. In part one, we did the setup where we uh, prepped the kit, we opened uh, Felicity's mouth so that she can accept a pacifier or a baby bottle. I even burrowed a hole in her neck so that we can mount her on a uh, post so that she can dry, but we're going to see how that turns out. So now we're going to talk about supplies. And in this episode, part two, we are going to actually begin the first step of painting. So I'm showing you the caddy that I use to hold all of my materials. And I got this from Amazon. I will be putting a link um, of the items that I use in uh, the description box. But let's go over here and we will discuss what you will need if you intend to do silicone um, doll making. The first thing is I'm doing this on my dining room table and I want to protect my dining room table because I don't know how long I'm gonna be painting silicone dolls but I'm gonna have this dining room table for a minute. So you need to have something to paint the uh, silicone to transfer, a vehicle to transfer the paint onto the silicone kit. And that for me is gonna be cycle A and cycle B. My paints require you to mix cycle A and cycle B. And when I first began painting silicone, I was using SAM products, which I'm still gonna use some SAM. That's, um, let's go to, you see how dirty this is? This is why I would like to switch to something else because my hands would always get contaminated from this drop bottle and that's silicone art materials, that's Sam silicone paints. And <clears throat> you can use these dippers to help measure. Right now, I am going to try using something different with, which is this silk pig, so silicone pigments. And the reason I really wanna try these is because they come in little cups. And <clears throat> you can just dip them out with a stick or a toothpick. So we're gonna be using, we're gonna try that. You'll need to put your silicone into something that you can easily pour into your wells or your cups. And so that's why I have these little squirt bottles. And what are we going to use to paint with? You can use like cups like this. I got this from Kroger. Everything that touches our baby has to be latex free though. So you have to make sure that, you know, we know these are. These are latex free, so, and I got a bunch of them. You don't really need to have that many um, because once the paint, silicone paint cures, you can just peel it off and reuse. Like these have been reused. All right, now we need a solvent, and that's something to thin the paint out as well as to clean out our brushes. And I like to put my paint thinner or solvent into this little squirt bottle, makes it a lot easier. And I like to also squeeze it into these pipettes so that when I take smaller amounts, you know, we can do that. I'll fill this, not fill it, but I'll put solvent into that as well. The thinner that I am using is currently is Bob Ross Odorless Paint Thinner. Definitely, you are going to need tweezers. And the tweezers I like has a very definite edge, almost sharp, not quite sharp, 
but not one of those blunt edge tweezers. I need stir sticks. I accidentally ordered extra long or long stir sticks. I don't need them this long. I usually break them in half, but when I break them in half, then what typically happens is that I get splinters in the baby. I need something to cut or disperse the, the paint. The paint is very oily. So I use these, uh, you can use these wedges. Jumbo free latex, jumbo uh, latex free wedges. I also purchased, I'm gonna try these. I had a hard time taking a lid off before, one handed. But... And these I'm not gonna throw away. This would be typically, and this is latex free as well. This would typically be if I wanted to make a texture layer, like you would if you're modeling. All right, I didn't mention alcohol. Alcohol helps to keep your kit clean. And I fill the spray bottle up with the same type of alcohol I use to clean the baby. And that way, um, I can get rid of little hairs because our baby is like a magnet. At this point, it's going to attract lint and hair. And I have a kitty cat. So there, even if you vacuum and wipe everything down, there is gonna be hair everywhere. Paintbrushes. Just get a whole bunch of paintbrushes. I got them from Amazon. This is a good size for doing little hands and fingers. Um, also, I have a bunch of paint brushes. Um, like I have these with different sizes. And I don't, I haven't used something like this yet. I don't know how that's gonna work. But I want to use, um, let's see, I think I have a bigger one somewhere. Yeah, this one. I'll be using this like for the head. And I've used this one already. So you can see where the silicone has compromised the bristles. I, I get one more use out of this, I think. So you'll definitely want to clean your brushes as soon as you use them. We have latex gloves. So these, oh, did I say latex? Latex free gloves. These gloves are not necessary. I use them because I don't want a solvent absorbed into my skin because I, I don't know, that doesn't seem healthy to me, but my sister doesn't use gloves, so it's not necessary. Also, we're gonna be investing in a lot of paper towel. So there are other things that you might see me grab. Like we're gonna use a matting powder and we're gonna use a brush to mat the powder on, but I'll discuss that a lot later. This is just a brush that I got from Amazon. And scissors, you know, I don't know what we need scissors for, but I got them here. And I think that's about it. So let's take a look at Felicity. And um, I, should, I, I could mount the camera, but we'll just hold it since I got it in my hand. I have to cover the kit because I, like I said, I have a kitty cat. It is probably a good idea to cover your kit um, because it does, like I said, it is a magnet at this point and it will attract everything. And there is something right here that needs to be picked off. Do you know how, if you've watched other artists, um, picking obsessively at their, oh, oh, be careful not to. Her silicone is so soft, I actually poked it with this, so you gotta be careful. That's why this alcohol is really good at this point. Uh, we could probably fill it up. We'll fill it up before we start painting. And then, just take a napkin and clean it off. Okay. 
So um, these, we have to decide how we are going to cure our doll. I use twine, this is just butcher's twine. I have used in the past um, zip ties, but the zip ties would lay on the doll while it was curing and leave a mark. So I'm hoping that I can hang the baby using these and hang them on a rack. I bought this toy doll rack from Amazon and it has worked excellently for my uh, partial silicone dolls. And then I'll take these, these I got off of Amazon too. They're just, you know, little hooks. And uh, we'll just hook it onto the baby. So we'll see how all of that works. I don't know if I, how successful I'll be doing this one-handed, but let's go ahead and mount the camera and we'll start the first step of uh, painting our little Felicity. Okay, so I have everything set up. We're using a puppy pad and I turn it on the vinyl side <clears throat> because we're going to try not to get lint on things and the lint would probably collect on the other side. Now, I've never used these paints, so I'm interested to see how they work. Look at that. That is wet. All right. We're going to put it in that, but for now, let's put it back in here. sure this is cleaned out no lip balls and then I I want to keep them upside down in this so I like to start with B because B is thicker and since I am NOT going to be using anything to precisely measure I'm going to just be eyeballing it B will hold its shape a lot longer I'm using enough that I hope will cover the entire kit. Palms and all. Face, lips, bottom of feet. And then I'm gonna put A, an equal amount. If you don't use an equal amount, then it won't cure right. So like I said, B is thicker and it will hold its shape better and it typically will help you eyeball how much A you'll need. Now, I think that's even. You can't transfer. So once I put this stick in here, I cannot put it back in the pigment. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, very nice. And basically, we're just using a brown base. I like, I don't want a translucent. I want an opaque color. I really like this. It's a very nice chocolatey color. Let's cover that back up. Before we have an accident. And I'm gonna use thinner to thin this out.
you can see that the paint is already beginning to warm up the kit. Um, so it's not exactly brown. And the paint is a little bit thick, but we're just pouncing everything off. Every bit of it. We're not trying to leave anything behind. And the paint that we do have on there is just basically staining the silicone. It's really important to get in between the toes and at the creases because it does want to gather there and it does want to leave a line and darken too much and we don't want it to really be this dark at this point in those creases. took one base coat to warm that kit up so much is such a difference and we will paint one arm and one leg on camera and I'll move right on to Felicity's head
I have no idea what it is about Felicity's head that wants to attract so much dust, but she had so much lint and cat hair on her um, that I really had to spray her down with some alcohol. Now here I moved to my bigger brush and at this time I did add more thinner to the paint and it's smoothing on so much easier. I'm getting into the ears very well and um, my sponge is really loaded with paint. So I can disperse it fine, but I don't want to keep that much pigment on there. I'm not trying to paint the baby. I am trying to stain the baby, basically. So I used a fresh sponge to just pounce some of that paint off, paying close attention to the lines and the creases in the ears uh, and behind the ears to make sure that we don't collect a lot of dark lines there. I think that's it for part two uh, come back for part three where we will begin the veining and we'll put another brown coat on this baby and we'll see how deep we can make her mm -hmm. 